our numbers, which we're focusing on, uh, don't suggest that we should be the first state in the country to reopen, uh, given the numbers that we're seeing today and perhaps we'll see in the coming days. Therefore, I am extending uh, the the guidelines that were under the the 202006 executive order. I signed that just before coming down here today. Uh, that we're extending those business closures for 10 days. That takes us through April 30th. We're doing that to protect the health and safety of business owners, their employees, and their customers. This approach uh, we've discussed with our legislative leaders, uh, either my personally or my team has had discussion with all uh, with the legislative leaders of both houses and both parties today, and they support this direction. We've got mayors across the state that support this. Our health care systems have been in support. And last night we had a call uh, with uh, seven Midwestern governors, all of whom were uh, those that have uh, did not issue the formal stay-at-home orders, but have taken swift action to slow the spread. Uh, and none of those uh, were planning on doing any openings before uh, the first. And why I say this is important, because we can act independently and act smartly in North Dakota using our own data. But this is also a situation where there's been a lot of concerns, whether it's people calling us about worrying about out-of-state travelers or you know out-of-state fishermen that are coming in or people coming in uh, because of the uh, work that they might do in the state in the oil field coming from out-of-state. Those concerns are all legitimate when we're trying to slow the spread. And